Okay, so as many of you know, I've been struggling with a leak on my tiger moth. Someone just reached out to me to ask me how I was doing with it. Unfortunately, it's still leaking. So the leak is in this brace. And I finally I pinpointed it's on two weeks ago. It's on the uh, passenger side. So originally I thought I had fixed this. But unfortunately I didn't. Last night I think I really knocked down where it was. And uh, come on, we'll go outside and we'll uh, show you where it is. All right, so here we go. Let's get up here. Put a little step there. All right, so if you guys have seen the other video, um, I got up here in the rain and I saw a little water swirling here. So I cleaned it. Of course, this is dirty again. Um, I caulk it really good. Don't see any more swelling. While I was doing that, I also removed the basket. I sealed around all of this uh, bracket. <clears throat> and then before I put the basket back on, I sealed all the holes where the bolts go through. So <clears throat> with my wife's self last night, come out here with the hose and I just soaked this. I mean, soaked it. I didn't see any leaks and we we ran a lot of water on top of this no leaks at all so very happy with what I did here so then in my mind what I was gonna do I was gonna systematically just move up the trailer so in theory the rest of it would be dry and I could concentrate on certain spots so I started on the far side I started spraying some water nothing zero then I went to the vent, nothing, zero. I was like, awesome. So then I tried staying away from the hinge and I sprayed water so it ran straight down this tube, figuring that if, it's, if there's gonna be a problem, it's gonna be in that tube, nothing. So then I started spraying on the outside of the hinge. I concentrated on the, the, you know, the, the top of the trailer, not on the hinge itself. And my wife told me she got a little and I was like okay so we stopped dried it off a little bit and then I was like you know what let's just hit that hinge hard so I started hitting the hinge hard right on the top side I let it float all the way down the hinge and I actually let it get here um, and it was just pouring into the trailer so I was like okay we got we got this figured out we know where the problem is now um, and then we moved up. So I started up here. I sprayed it really hard. Asked her if she got anything. Nothing. But by the time the water it was heavily rolling down here, boom. She got water again. So I'm going to show you what I found on the inside. So after I dried everything up and it start, started streaming in, I felt up here, and I know it's gonna be hard to see, but there's no gasket right there. So the water's hopping this somehow and it's getting behind, um, it's getting behind the, the gasket. So I stuck my head up in there and I looked really good and you can see right where this part of the hinge is, cause this is the part of the hinge that moves, this part is against the trailer so it doesn't move. Everywhere here, the gas gets eaten away. So more than likely what had happened was um, the gasket, each time this door opened and closed, the gasket got sucked under and pulled out and sucked under and pulled out. <clears throat> so where it became more evident was the top one. And you see here, this is where the gasket is just shot. You can see all three. So what I'm going to do is Taxis sent me uh, some kind of like long gasket and I'm gonna try and put that up here to try and keep the water away from the front side of this hinge I'm also gonna seal it and if that doesn't work unfortunately the door is coming off it's not something I really want to do it's actually it's not too bad it's only four bolts there four bolts there a nylock there 
a nylock there and that's it this whole door will come off in one piece there's no electric to it there's no nothing i'll just need like three or four guys to help me lift it this way we don't damage it we'll put it on to on top of something um but actually i think this is very promising where i'm at right now um i really hope that this is going to help a lot of people again i am not trying to flame tax i like the product i think once i get this leak fixed it's going to provide me with a lot of years of uh great camping fun but just right for now give me a little bit of headache so hope you guys like this video if you did you know please hit that subscribe button and uh we're going to keep making videos and of course we're going to give you a update on hopefully in a few days if this works hopefully it does and if it doesn't we're going to be on to the next fix all right guys thanks for watching